Hello, welcome back this week. Um, I hope everybody that uh, went to the show this weekend had a great time. Um, we are going to get straight on today doing the skin and we're going to work on the eyebrows for this um, little boy. So if you don't mind chucking me over. Yep. That's great. Uh, so those of you that don't know, I'm Kez and Phil is next to me. Um, he'll be reading out any comments to me if um, you yeah, guys have any questions. And I'm going to get on burning. So we've got here just uh, my normal piece of wire. Um, this one is bent at a sort of a 45 degree angle, probably a little bit more. It's just for shading. Um, I've got this machine on a number four to start with. I may turn it down a little when we get to the skin on the forehead so we're going to do the eyebrows and then do um some shading on the forehead so let me just zoom this video in so you can see Go down a little bit. there we go so what we're going to do is just we're going to go over and put a base layer over the eyebrows to start with so we're just very, very gentle movements. Um, we're just going to go over the surface. Now, the pressure on this pen is uh, extremely light. In fact, I could hold it up here and still have the same reaction because we don't want to put pressure on the pen. We're aiming to burn the surface of the wood, not deep into the wood. So what we're doing is going from the bottom of the eyebrow and sort of going with the direction of the the little that the little hairs would actually go in because it's very important when we do hair and fur and things like that to go in the direction of the 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 the, the, the hair or the fur whichever one you're doing because otherwise it just looks weird. I think it looks weird anyway. Anyway. Yep. So just... Go in that direction. So what we're going to do is these little tiny hairs that come down the side. It's just the way it looks as it goes down. So we're going to go even smaller with these movements because it would be what would go like round the side of, of the temple so we have to make the hairs just a little bit short because that's how they look on the picture <clears throat> excuse me my voice is uh, groggy a little bit groggy today i do apologize i've done that much laughing and that much talking over this weekend that um Oh my gosh, I think I could have uh, just not talked at all for the next three days. <laughs> yeah. Who's joined you today? Though? Yes, please. Sorry, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm yabbering away and uh, I forget to ask. I'm sorry. <laughs> not today. Tonight. It's an easy easy day for me today because uh, at the moment we have Jacob from Jacked Up Leatherworks. Hey up, Jacob. How are you doing? And we have Lucy Bundy Row. Hey up, Lucy. How are you doing? How are the kids and Andy and everything else? She wants to know if you had a good day. No, you know it yesterday. Oh, it was fab. Absolutely fab. And you know what? It was great to be on the other side for a change. Actually wombling around the show rather than working it. Although, don't get me wrong, I love to work the shows. Um, yeah, it was it was, it was, was fab. And Rob Pronkling's Blood Braces. Hey, up, Rob, how you doing? It was great to see you the other day. I'm sorry that I didn't get a chance to speak to you longer um i was uh, having to present an award just as you turned up so i do apologize i didn't get a chance to say hi properly i hope you had a great day at the show well, apparently i'm just cooking a roast dinner Ooh, nice nice i like a roast dinner uh, what have you been up to jacob anything good 
So just laying in the base layers of this. And you can see, actually, it looks like I've gone over um, to add darker. But what that is, that is actually the grain of the wood and where the, the grain, the softer bit, is actually picking it up darker there and there than, than the rest of it. Um, I think a little bit more of the pith is... Words are failing me. <laughs> a little bit more of the pith is actually showing through on these sections, and that is why it's burning slightly darker. So what I'm going to do is just going to go either side of that darker patch to then bring in um, the colour. <coughs> excuse me, the colour that we would like. And Jacob says, uh, "Fishing reel cover." Fishing reel cover. Yeah. What, you've, and... been, you've been making one or? Buying one or? Well, I assume he's making one. Yeah. I thought so. I just thought I'd ask. And Lucy says, is it out of the box yet? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> it's not. Yeah. We'll get there. We'll get there. I think that's your next job, isn't it, really? Yeah, that's next in line. Get the uh, desk made and the printers up. Yeah. Printer up and running. <laughs> Printers, is that is that preempting me for another one? <laughs> no, I'm going to drop the. Uh, yeah, I'm going to drop the scan and cut up there as well. Uh, not um, that that gets much use. No, Lucy says she's made a chocolate kit, uh, chip sponge pudding. Ooh, that sounds nice. We're all going to Lucy's house for pudding. We've got spag ball on the go today. And Jacob says, "Yeah." Thank you all. Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. I just thought to ask. You never do know. So, we've I've just gone either side, and you can see it's darkened down a little bit nicer. It's actually just a little bit just here that's actually a little bit light. Can you see it on there? Yeah. So, we're just going to go over that bit again. Just being very, very careful not to... Um, overburn the rest of it just for this base layer uh, apparently Phil, Rob and Andy and I have created a WhatsApp group for 3D printing if you're interested yeah I'll drop you my number so you can add me into it Lucy cool I'll message you across in a bit there we go so just going to add a little bit here just where the hairs go up oh, what we need to do is actually we're going to once I've put this in and sorted out this base layer what I'm going to do is shade the skin around it because then that will give us more um, definition of where we need to put the little hairs that stick everywhere because it's always little hairs that stick everywhere Uh, just adding in where it needs to just be twitched up a little. And we've got another white spot just there, haven't we? There we go. So this look, this this brow looks a little bit ugly at the moment, but that's absolutely fine. So what I'm going to do is shade around the outside and you know the forehead and add the little hairs in everywhere. Trust the process. Yes, definitely trust the process. This is this is where things look weird, but if you keep going, and I always advise to keep going on the spot that you're on, um, just to get it so it looks how you want it to look before you move on to the next bit, because sometimes it can be a bit, little, little bit um, disheartening that you're stuck in the ugly duckling stage for a while. But uh, if you push through, it works out just fine. So I'm just going to shade. Now, um, all I'm doing is using the flat of the tip. And I'm just doing circular motions. Now, I may have to do um, put, like pulling strokes shortly. Uh, we'll just see how this wood reacts because if you remember when we did the eyes and the, the face down here in earlier weeks 
um, the wood wasn't playing ball, was it? It was... Uh, you can see as you're going over where you're picking up the grain. Yeah, it is. It's picking it up. So what we have to do with that, because that picks that up, you just have to do the pull strokes. So in between the circular motions, just so you get in the lines. And if you go with the grain, it gives you an, a, a smoother burn. Um, Rob from Copper I will join us join this after hey you, Rob. Rob, how are you doing? So just keeping pulling that burn down. Now we don't want this to burn too much. We're going to build up the layers on this skin um, slowly just because you can go too far and it goes obviously too dark too fast and we don't want that. I've just burnt that bit. I shouldn't stump. Um, Wayne from worry. Bigfoot Woodcraft and Auntie Valerie's joined us. Hey, up, Wayne and Valerie. How are you doing? Are you recovering after the weekend? He's miffed because of the rain. Oh, no, he's not been able to get anything done. That's not good. So... Hang on a minute. What I'm going to do is put that down a second. Because where's me? Just going to use. I'm just going to use this one because I've got this to hand. This bit here. That's annoying me. Sorry. I'm going to have to remove it. So we've just got a knife and we're just going to scrape down. Because we can't actually blend that bit in because that bit isn't. That section isn't dark. So we can't pull it in one pass. We have to do several light passes to be able to lighten it up. I don't know. I don't know where my um, Stanley blade's gone. No, I was just looking for it for you. I only got. Uh, I think I don't know where my flex cut is either. So just pulling it down. Probably in the toolbox. No, probably. It's normally where it's supposed to be. <laughs> is it not? <laughs> Put me tools away for once. <laughs> there you go. Just pulling that down to get rid of that burn because I don't want that there there's one there but it's an older one. Oh, I'll see what it's like see what it's like so, yep Wayne go. says yep spend two days inside the show and no rain as soon as I want to work outside heavy rain all day oh my god it's awful isn't it there we go. So we've got rid of that bit, so it's not annoying me so much. <laughs> we'll start. We'll try again. I'm just going to turn this down, actually, to number three and a half, actually. So the burner's now on three and a half. So what I'm going to do is just go over that, pull that down, and just go over where we've just scraped that away. Now, because we've scraped it away with a knife, it hasn't left it all... Um... I've just done it again. It's not my day today, is it? <laughs> oh my god! He's gonna go wrong. He's gonna go wrong. Life. <laughs> it's just, uh, tell you what, guys, we'll just sit here scraping away. And <laughs> yeah, get to the end of the day, and you've got no wood left. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Oh dear me. Well, if you wanted to know how to fix mistakes, <laughs> yeah, this is how you fix mistakes, guys. <laughs> We're not shading today. We're fixing mistakes. Oh my god. And Rabbi's joined us. Hey Rabbi, how you doing? Welcome to the fixing mistake video today. <laughs> <laughs> we seem to be doing lots and lots of mistakes. Well I do, not we. Yeah, we can all have a laugh watching you. Yeah, that's the one. I don't mind. I don't mind being laughed at, that's fine. And now me me my blade's gone blunt. Uh -uh. Give you a second or second find your new one. I think they're in the drawer behind me, actually. So, yeah, there we go. There we go, guys. That's, that's, that's how to fix your second mistake in a row. <laughs> and it's the same mistake. I know it's the same mistake. Never mind, though. Never mind. You've had a good good old lesson in mistake fixing. They've got oil now getting there. All right, I need, they need wipes anyway. They've got oil on them. So, we'll try again, shall we? So using the side of the nib, we'll just pull down. There we go. 
what I've done is I've just straightened this um, nib out a little bit so that it's not so, <laughs> so bent. <laughs> just see if I can stop catching the wood. So just with the corner, just pulling it down because the grain of the grain of this wood is not liking um, the burn. It keeps burning very uneven. So we're just trying to get um, the most even burn that we can on this piece. You look at me like that. I'm cleaning your blade for you. Yeah, I know, but you're wobbling my table. Oh, I'm sorry. And that's got to be the most annoying thing ever. <laughs> it's a good job I like you, isn't it? <laughs> so, <coughs> just... Right, you've got a sharp blade now. Thank you. Stop moaning. I'm not moaning. So, just making sure that we... Uh... Not that I'm preempting you making another mistake, but... Thank you, sir. You have so much faith. <coughs> so, there we go. <clears throat> so we're just dragging with the crane of the wood. Now, underneath the hairline is slightly darker, but only a little bit. So we're just going to pull, pull from the hair onto the forehead. And the reason why we do this is because because the the, the, the shadow of, of that's on the forehead is actually the shadow of the hair. You, if you pull it in the direction of the hair, it does look like the shadow behind rather than looking weird because you're going with the direction of the hair in the first place. There we go. It's burning nicely now. I've bent it in the right position for this. <laughs> Sometimes you have to play around with your tools, you know, manipulate them to do what you need them to do. Yeah, Rabbi says, how, how's everything going lately? It's and, doing good. Uh, saying in Bangladesh, it is Ramadan fasting month from, from tomorrow. Oh, is it? Wow. Brilliant. It's uh, not doing too bad here. I hope you got you. You're doing okay over there. There we go. So just pull in, pull in with the direction, just because this piece of wood is being finicky. There we go. Uh, let's pull from the hair for the shadow that's underneath this pe particular piece here. And now I'm going at, I'm pulling at a, a, a reasonable speed. Um, just because I don't want to sit on the wood for too long. If we sit on the wood too long, then it will burn quite a lot and um, we don't want all the dark patches as you can see over there I was fixing mistakes <laughs> so pulling at a reasonable speed but there's no there's no pressure on this pen at all I could pull up from the pen, from my hand being all the way up here and they say there's no pressure So you can see in the grain here, so these line, grain lines going down. I don't know whether you can actually see them on the camera. Um, what I'm going to do is burn in between them. Just for now, just so we can get a nice even base. Just so she doesn't have to fix any more mistakes. Yeah, that's the one, that's the one. Yeah. So, but at least you know how to fix mistakes now. If you make a mistake, you ain't got to worry, you just fix it. Some people use like um, sandpaper to fix and things like that, but I find that when you're fixing with sandpaper, um, the the carbon, the buildup that you've burnt, actually goes in between the grains, and it's like sits in in the grain bits, and it doesn't look very pretty. It stays in, you cannot get it out for love nor money. So um, 
it's easier just to scrape it away. And when you do scrape it away, you scrape it away with um, a flat blade, it will keep your wood flat as well. So it's not going to wreck where you've sanded it down in the beginning to prep it. Lots of information to take in there, guys. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> So there we go. Now, across this bridge just here, it's actually a little bit darker. So we're going to go over with the first layer first. Just keep pulling from here because we need the shadow under the hair. So there's lot, lots of things to think about all at once. So you've got the shadow under the hair that we're having to think about. We've got the grain of the wood that's being, well, not, yeah, not, not so nice. So we have to burn in between. And then we've got a, a double layer of uh, burn across the bridge of the nose. So, but once you start seeing things come together it's uh, really really satisfying so keep at it keep at it you can do it there we go so what's everybody got planned for this week anything good anything exciting I've got quite a busy week this week. Well, that's just with work, I think, this week. So we're just adding a little bit. So now we've got the um, base layer in for the skin. I'm just going to start adding a little bit more to the uh, eyebrows. Still making sure that you go with the direction of the hair. I was going to say fur then. And making, this problem the other day. Yeah, and making sure that when you are, whether you're doing fur or hair, it really doesn't matter. Um, just make sure that you um, have... Your pen on for, the, for the, just think about the length of the the the, the hair. We'll say here, um, eyebrows are really short, so we do short strokes. Whereas if you are um, doing like longer hair, then you would do the long strokes. And obviously, you're thinking about your wavy or straight, and w which way you would take your pen. So Jacob says he's thing. finishing up all big projects. Nice. Rob says work meetings, work meetings. Oh no, that's boring, <laughs> mate. Sorry, don't envy you there. I, 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 have, I have a staff meeting. I talk to myself most of the time. <laughs> you don't get any arguments or decisions, then, do you? No, I, I, I have a staff meeting and then just tell her what he needs to do. <laughs> and Lucy says she's going to survive. That I think she's trying to survive with all my marbles intact. <laughs> nah, Lucy, Lucy, you're better off with a hole in your bag, darling. <laughs> Lose a few. It's much more fun. <laughs> oh, dear. There we go. So I think what we'll do is just add in this extra layer. Over here, so I'm going to do is just slow down just a little bit because if we slow down a little bit, it'll burn just a little bit darker, but not um, too bad. There we go. I 
Phil's messing about with the computer. I can hear myself talking now. No, you can't. You're all right. <laughs> I could. <laughs> Really checking what the video quality was like. Um, I don't know. Yeah, because what what we see on the um, camera isn't what it portrays on YouTube, is it? So. <laughs> Lucy says she's just going to print some more marbles. <laughs> <laughs> That's cheating. <laughs> oh dear me! You got enough printers. I was thinking that as you said it. Yeah. <laughs> Is it three or four you're up to now? And where do you store them? I think you need a whole room just for printers. Uh, just making sure going between the bits, so you can see this bit of green is burning slightly darker. I'm not going to worry about, you know, scraping it away because I'm just going to go either side of it because it's not too bad. Because this bit here wants to be a little bit darker anyway. So I'm actually burning on the downstroke and on the upstroke. So I'm going up and down. It's like um, a pendulum motion just to get that uh, burn in just, just that little bit quicker. The only reason I wouldn't normally, the only reason I'm doing it a little bit quicker is obviously for your viewing purposes. It's like getting a double burn in and stroke, isn't it? Yeah, I was at the moment. You, just, it's, you can only just tell it's burning. Yeah. So it's just sort of getting it in there. It is, it's, it is time consuming, but it's definitely worth the end result. Just taking your time and just building up your layers. got actually that bit there is a little bit darker so we'll add those bits in see where we put the base layers in before we can now start adding the extra depth by going a little bit darker and then towards the end we'll add extra depth again as we add the highlights so you've always got to make sure that when you're doing realism that the you have got the highlights and you've got the darks in because that is what makes it look really real is is basically it's the tonal values so i'm going to add in that side as well because that side's a little a little dark too so let's bring that down there but sometimes you can't add them in straight away. You need to do extra steps before you start adding them in. So, just so you can see where that they where they need to be. So, Phil, this week is your task ordering materials for a desk. It will be. <laughs> and we're just gonna try circular motions over here, just for the shading. This one wasn't too bad, was it? This side. This side wasn't being so finicky. I always find that the circular motion just gets things in just slight quick, like slight bit quicker. Yeah, you can see it um, forming faster. Yeah, it does. It's because you're going round and round and round over and over. And it is a faster way of adding in your layers. But obviously with the wood, sometimes you just have to work around it. You know, wood's a natural product. You can never buy it exactly the same. So you just have to learn to work with it rather than against it. There we go. 
<laughs> go Phil, go Phil, join the madness. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Hang on, my watch is buzzing. It's telling me to make dinner. So working on uh, Lucy's theory, if we print case some more marbles. No, I don't want them. Not accepting them. I'm happy the way I am. <laughs> There's a hole in my bag and I've been losing them for years. <laughs> Which means I don't have to conform. I'm good as I am. So there you go. You can see it filling in nicely now, can't you? Can you see it on there? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. It's just adding that dark patch in. It's just where the eyebrows meet. Yeah, it's obviously not coming in as fast as the hair came in. No. It, it, I was about to say last week, but we... We had a no, yes, do apologize last week. We did have an internet malfunction last week. There was just no internet at all. Um, no explanation for it. They're just, you know, what internet providers are like. They're fabulous for things like that. And uh, yeah, we just, we've got nothing all day. And because we live in a rural area, so where we are, there is literally four houses. Um, the internet isn't uh, something that they uh, worry about where we are. So we don't actually get 3G either. Well, I think you can just about get E sat in the cupboard upstairs. But I didn't really fancy that, thanks. <laughs> you can't always post anything on E anymore, can you? No, it's a bit sluggish. Yeah, just a bit. It's not even 2G anymore. I just uh, they're talking about taking 3G off, aren't they? Yeah. So, so we'll end up with nothing because we don't get 4G or anything here. So what I'm going to do is bring some of this hair down from up here, just so we're starting to meet in the middle. Yeah, actually, just try. Yeah, that work. That's working for me. I like it when the circular motions work. Yeah, so we, we if they take 3G away, I don't know whether we'll actually get even 4G as a basic while we're here. Do you? We might have to change providers. I think I'm definitely going to have to change providers because O2 are terrible here. Uh, just doing the circular motions. The circular motions actually I find are smoother, especially for skin. I'm just going to turn this up slightly. So I'm just going just before the number four. So I'm only you can't really that. see much of what you've just done. Yeah, so. hang on. if I pull that down, um, is that in? Is that the light bit different on there? You still can't see much of what I've done. No, you can't see much of what you've done. It's not showing up at the moment. It will do obviously on the next layers. Yeah. And Andrew from AGK Woodwits has joined us. Hey up, Andrew. How are you doing after uh, the weekend? So just adding these layers in. Just nicely. I know you can't see much on there, but there is. When you add your first layer in onto the wood, it adds like a skin. So whereas the wood, as you first put your pen down, would, would scorch, when you put the, 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 the skin layer in, you actually, um, it, it go, the wood goes slightly shiny. So when you put layers on top, it doesn't burn as fast and scorch um, after you've put Rob the says, skin layer hey, in. Rob says, hey, Kez, I think your pen is out of ink. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'd say, I'd say. Oh, dear me. As you see from the beginning, though, you can you can overburn and I have to make a mistake. <laughs> I have to rub it out. <laughs> Andrew says he's tired. My auntie sister, so, uh, a big thank you for the advice. It You're welcome. Treat. You are absolutely welcome, mate. I'm pleased that they've worked for her.
It's not the most of exciting of uh, video footage if you're getting very slow, is it? No, it's not, but there are definitely a must. Definitely a must, unfortunately. Um, that's why quite uh, quite often I'll put um, an audio book in. Um, you put some music on, whatever you, whatever floats your boat, and you just the time just goes, and you're just concentrating on what you're doing. That's why when I'm live, I do try and work a little bit faster than what I would normally work, just so it's it's not so uh, tedious as such. You have to definitely have to bring your patience for pyrography. Yeah, you're just starting to see it coming in now. Yeah. Watch that grain as you go across. Yeah, I know. I lifted my pen. <laughs> <laughs> well, as we keep it a scorecard and mistakes on the line. <laughs> Your record Excellent. is two at the moment. <laughs> two in five minutes. <laughs> But no, it's, it's, you don't have to worry about it. When you make mistakes, you don't have to worry. You just, just fix them. And uh, I think we've blended in a few on the skin. No, was it was it on this one or was it the This one. Yeah, so we've blended in a few. And you can't tell where they are. I can't even remember where they are, actually. And uh, we've scraped a, a few away. So, you know, you haven't got to worry. If you make a mistake, just sort it out and get on with it. So this is where the wood doesn't like it. So now we'll change tact. I want to attack it from a different angle. There we go. And Wayne says, well, at least you didn't make any mistakes last week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dear me. That was a crazy week, that was. Just just nothing. All day. Is the right, mm -hmm. Rob wants to know, is the right name for it pen, wand, rooty tooty, point and shooty, or something else? I like rooty tooty, point and shooty. That's <laughs> pretty, pretty cool, that is. <laughs> it is actually a pen. Yeah, I like that. Wand makes it sound like um, it's going to be rude. <laughs> I suppose only if you've got a dirty mind. No, I, I'm innocent. <laughs> yeah, top proving guilty. Mm -hmm. I'm glad there weren't much film footage from last night. <laughs> So this side here is the finicky side. So we're just pulling down to add extra layers in. Rob says Harry Potter is not rude. No, he's not actually. He's pretty good. I like Harry Potter. So we can move to circular motions over here. Darken this bit down a little bit. Now we're starting to meet top and bottom now. And no, you can't you can't really see it on there, can you? Hang on, let's see if I can get it to no, it's not gonna. Oh there you are, look. You can see the shine just down here where you can see where I've been, and this patch here is where I haven't been. You can see the shine, and that's what I mean by skin. I've put the skin on the wood. Um yeah, so that you can see now that it's starting to meet between the, the top and the bottom. So although it looks like it's not really doing much, it is, it is, I promise. Speaking about Harry Potter anyway, Rob, I'm actually painting the uh, dragon, or one of the dragons, on the uh, chimney breast in the uh, dining room and uh, we had to uh, nip to this Joe Sonia's store yesterday to pick up glass and paint didn't we 
You might actually get it finished. Yeah. I might actually get it finished, yeah. It's been in progress for quite a while now. But you have to get these things right, you know. Is that before you start the next one? Mm, no. I always have to have three jobs on the go. When I get bored of one, I'll move to the next. When I get bored of that one, I'll move on to the next one. Can't tell me you don't do the same. Uh, Jacob says he's got to see that. What? The dragon. Um, there's actually a, a photograph on my phone if you want to send it to him. No, it's a no. lengthy task of trying to find a photo in because it's No, no, phone. no, go into the albums. If you go into the albums, there is album with the dragon footage right at the bottom. Here's the latest photo. So my kids... Because the dragon, because I haven't put any details in this dragon at the moment, the um, the mouth looks like Kermit the Frog, so they call it Kermit the Dragon. And uh, what's it? One day we actually came down the stairs, and the the, the youngest had stood on a stool um, next to the fireplace, and he got a little bit of blue tack and a googly eye, and stuck it on the dragon because he got no eyes. And the, the dragon for ages had a googly eye. <laughs> Great imagination, though, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, I've just emailed it to myself so I can pull it up on screen in a minute. Okay. But yeah, that's. Um, you'll see what I mean in a minute. But yeah, we're gonna, definitely going to get that finished. It's taking a while, it's a big picture. Yeah, phone, the phone. Um, photographs do tend to be uh, quite big. They're normally about three and a half meg, aren't they? I'll try sending a smaller version. So, it'll come through in a minute. Um, so, this eyebrow, what we're just going to do is add the uh, base layers in there. Just to get that nice and dark in the places that we need before we go any further with the skin on this side here. So I'm just going to slow down a little bit actually. If I slow down, the uh, it does burn darker. Nicely going in there. I'm getting there, I'm getting there. What? <laughs> Oh, roast, like, roast beef eaten, apparently. Ooh, nice. I like roast beef. I just like roast dinner, I think. Don't care what it is. So, just adding in these layers of these eyebrows. Just so we can get that so it's a little bit more defined on the skin. And then we can add the skin oh, around it. I put it up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh, uh, yeah. So, anybody wanted to see it, it's there. That's me, dragon. He's, he's, he's the nameless dragon. But, uh, yeah, he, he will hopefully get finished now. He's been uh, on the go for about a year now. Rob, Rob says, if you and the lids like dragons, I think if you meant kids, mm. <laughs> yeah. Rob can 3D print your loads, just saying. 
There's somebody at the front door. <laughs> turn your mic off. I'm turning your mic off. Oh dear me. Oh dear me. Just, just, I, think, I think it's actually the Amazon driver. What a time for the Amazon driver to turn up here, guys. So we're just adding these um, layers in to try and get them the same sort of um, depth. So just going a little, moving a little bit slower, but obviously in uh, shorter strokes because of the uh, hair. Right, I'm back. Cool. I'm glad you're back in the room. <laughs> no, it's not my parcel. I haven't forgotten I've ordered something. It ends. Uh, Jacob says that's called Kez, the picture. Thanks. And Rob says that's awesome, Kez. Mm -hmm. Lucy says wow. Yeah, so... Well, we've just got a plain chimney. So that needs uh, a bit of jazzing up, that does. Yeah, when she's finished painting, I'll actually put the fireplace in. <laughs> and how long have you been putting the fireplace in for? <laughs> so nice, short, definitely shorter strokes around the side here because they are teeny tiny hairs there and just be conscious of the direction of these ones because although you think they go that way they don't they actually come down There we go. Adding that in nicely. There we go. So now we've got that that um, base layer in as such. What we do is we'll start going. Is that over there actually? We'll start going um, and doing the skin. On this side, we've got about 10 minutes, so we should be able to get the layers. So and Wayne says, You just like flying things, then, as you've changed the plane chimney to a flying dragon chimney. Oh, <laughs> there's me thinking, Wardrobe Ninja. No, <laughs> don't go there. No, I'm not going to. <laughs> Oh dear me, Wayne. <laughs> there we go. So just using the circular motions on this part over here. Now you can see darker shadows on the skin. But we, we, we won't be able to get them in today, but we will get them in. We just go over again. Thinking about the shadow here underneath the hair. There isn't actually that much on this side. Seems to be that the light source has come from there a little bit. So. Just getting the layers in. Hopefully it just, it, 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 is, it is met now. Um, but it's just adding the extra and I'm not actually sure. You can't really see it on there, can you? And just slow down just a tad. I always say I'm going to slow down and then I end up speeding back up again. It's just a habit. Oh. 
And that's what Jacob's working on. That's his real cover. Oh, nice. That looks fab, Jacob. That's really good. It's absolutely fantastic, mate. It is. Love it. I'll wait till it finished. So what I'm going to do is go down this side a little bit. So just coming from the hairline down just makes it so that if the hair, if there's, you've got darker hair and then you add the shadow and then you end up with the skin. And because they're three different tones, that's why you get the, um, the realism look. But it needs when the um, shadow comes in, it just needs to be subtle that goes from the shadow to the skin. And a subtle transition, I think, was the word I was looking for. We've got nine minutes to go. Okay, darling. Are you going to actually start doing something today? <laughs> Sort of. <laughs> it doesn't lie. It doesn't. Anything it doesn't does it? It doesn't. <laughs> over there. Yeah, no. Jake, Jacob says he'll send you pictures when he's done. Brilliant. Look forward to them. Look forward to them. I have to uh, what's it with this? Pick it up, and move it around again in a minute. You can, you can. It's funny, isn't it? That sometimes the camera picks up everything, and then sometimes it just doesn't. It's because you're just doing the live base layer is not picking it up. Yeah, it, you can see it, but it's not fantastic. Yeah, with with skin, it's you have to stay light, especially with light skin. Blend that in a little bit there, look. There we go. Pretty happy with how it's turning out, I must admit. I hope so. You're the one doing it. Well, yeah, yeah. Who is that? Sometimes you could look at something and go, that's really not going the way I want it to go. And then uh, you have to change it. But then uh, sometimes you're just like, yeah, it's, it's, doing, it's doing pretty well. Could do with one of those ragged ones that Rob was on about earlier, though, because it would be great to just go, dink, and done. Base, base layer's done. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. I suppose it'd take all the fun out of it, though, wouldn't it? Makes people realise how long it takes. Yeah, it does. It does take a while. It does take a while. I get through several books. Several books. Don't generally listen to a lot of music when I'm uh, burning. It's always books because it takes my brain into a complete, utterly different story. Um, it's like a, it's like a new dimension for me. And uh, I'm able to just do the paragraphy without even thinking. That's why I'm not very technical when I'm explaining. Because you don't normally have to think about mm. it. But then when you, it's really weird though, because when you, when you when you when I've finished a piece, I look at it, and when I look at it, it reminds me of the books that I've read whilst doing it. So I think about the books rather than the piece. And you sort of get to know different characters in books as well. So. Also, Wayne says he's well happy this weekend as my homage to Sheffield Tools. I think Ooh. this is part of his homage to Sheffield Tools. I bought an old Eclipse tool saw set cool. yesterday in the box with the instructions. I checked it out last night. This from 1965, the same as me. <laughs> Brilliant. I'm just going to give this tip a clean. I'm going to just rubbing this on the piece of leather. Hopefully, my pen won't look like it's run out now. There we go. 
Let's uh, turn that back on. Still got it on just below number four. There we go, it's starting to come in. I can see it. I don't know whether you guys can see it. You can sort of see it coming in. Yeah. Well, if you see as you build the layers up, it'll come a lot faster now. Yeah. So where's that first layer that's the... Uh, what's I like to always get the skin in first. Um, well, the skin... On the wood. Uh, the skin layer on the wood, which, you know, as long as it's got some heat in it, you can get a skin layer on because it it just stops the rest of it burning too much if you go straight on to bare wood it just it just scorches and you get this horrible uh, overburn and i just don't like the yellow overburn if i'm honest with you so the skin just helps to reduce that a significant amount it just makes things a little slower but the result is better Yeah, and we've not not done bad with mistakes so far now. No. <laughs> After the two initial ones, you beat your record for a lot. Yeah, <laughs> it's not watching will be able to tell me when a mistake arrives before I before I point it out soon. <laughs> Just pulling down from where the hair is under this hairline here. Just add a little bit of um, depth to the hair there and the shadow underneath. There's not much of a shadow on this side, but there is definitely a skin difference, the skin, you know, sort of a tonal difference. It's only ever so subtle. But if you don't look for the subtle bits and put them in, um, you end up with a, a line that's like cut off between one and the other and it just doesn't look quite right. It doesn't look real. Yeah. It's more cartoony. Yeah. I don't like solid lines. Dark edges, yes. Solid lines, not so much. thought we might have been able to get some ears in today but uh doesn't look like it does it and this he says Kes, what is going to be the next one next one um i was actually thinking about a pair of chucks and not a chuck for your lathe or the drill or anything like that i mean like converse chucks um because what I'm going to do is look at the way that the fabric and the laces fall um, over the shoes, and then you've got the eyelets and things like that. So it's going to be sort of converse boots. No shoes, not not the boot ones. Oh, shoes. shoes. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's just sort of looking at something different and looking at the different tonal values within fabric. We've done fur, and we will get this one finished. Uh, for like the human portraiture, they think you know, looking at um, fabric and the tonal values and things like that in them would be great. Uh, like like a next step. If you guys have got any suggestions, then you know, give us a shout and uh, we'll see what we can uh, find on free picks and is it pe pexel pixels? You know, so see what we can find on the the free sites to use. The royalty free stuff. Yeah, we're just looking for royalty free stuff. Unless you guys have got a picture, you've got one that you've taken, and we're more than happy to go through it and then burn it and show you how. 
But, uh, yeah, so we just sort of thought we'd look at that. Uh, Wayne says, in my size, all loses. There's at least nine episodes difference. <laughs> yeah, there is. There's only so much shoe I can get on a piece of wood, Wayne. <laughs> I don't think I'd get your heels on this piece of wood. Yeah, and then Lucy says, I'm only a size two. Really? Wow, that's the same size as my seven-year-old. <laughs> He's a size two. Oh, Kaz, um, uh, Lucy says, Kaz, I'll have a look. Yeah. You've got any good photos. We're quite happy to uh, show you how to burn them and whatnot. We'll spend time doing them. Just uh, on the lookout for royalty-free stuff, just because um, I don't fancy copyright uh, infringements. That's not my style. Thank you very much. Yes, I thought thought fabric would uh, be the yeah. uh, best thing. Carry on for the rest of the day. Um, I might do. Yeah. You got a problem with that? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realise what time it was actually. So we've got to uh, we've got that section in. So what we'll do is uh, you got a message from Andy Bassett Scott. Oh, hello. He says, hi, Kez, good to see you at Newt yesterday. Yes, it was great to see you, Andy. I hope you had a good show. So I'm going to just zoom out a little bit. So here we go. So we have, in fact, as you can see, there is, you can see that there is actually skin on there. I think that may have been where the light was uh, shining. These down lighters aren't so uh, fabulous, are they? Um, so you can see there and we'll sh there you go. You can see the shine on that to uh, show the layer that has uh, gone in. Yeah, Wayne says you you can do a picture of Prince Harry. He wants to be royalty free. Oh yeah, he does, doesn't he? Might actually get round to your um, Christopher Lee at some point. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so that is that. So we're just adding that first layer of skin into that, and then what we do is then burn the layers over the top. Um, so adding that skin in just helps to reduce the overburn when you are burning into the wood. Um, because the overburn just looks really ugly. You just don't want to see it. Well, I don't anyway. Some people might like it. You like it? No, it depends on the situation. Some pictures it works for, others it doesn't. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, um, we will be back next week at uh, 4 p.m. as usual. And we'll see if we can get some ears on this kid <laughs> so we can hear something. <laughs> So, and get the shading finished done. Yeah, get some of the shading done. The ears are only tiny, so hopefully we'll get those in. Um, but yeah, apart from that, we're going to sign off and go and eat my tea. And we we'll wish you all a good evening. And we shall see you soon, guys. Thanks for joining us. Take care, guys. See you. Bye.